Okay, last set of color hell and then bedtime. I just, I want to actually, at this point, we've caught up with her talking about the hands going, well, she, about pistachio going mis missing with the exception of her hands and her clothing. Yeah, whatever this thing is that took pistachio, it only cared about the organics. Because Pistachio's hands were what was mechanical. Uh oh, not enough space. So you probably want to go around that one first. I'm just trying to find openings for a bit. I guess that was it. Yeah. Let's see what else we have here. A lot of stuff over there. Oh, no. I cannot do. But the thing is, how else would you have that? Can't do that. Is there, what was what is that one connected to? Is this out. all the way over here? Yeah. That is insane. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be this one. Nope. Not off the bat. Could be this though. Nope. Okay. Which one is this one connected to? This right here. Okay, so this one I can go around this way. Is that it? Yeah, looks I like got it. it. Yes. 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 As Megatron would say. Whoa. Isn't that interesting? There's two pillars up top. Mm hmm. Blurp. I don't think that's gonna work. I really don't think that's gonna work. Shell, don't get that attached to your basic opening move. Okay, fine. I'll do this. Except now I can't do anything with it. Oh, except I can. Except, for except then that one's going to get... still super not... Not good. Can I try? Not good. Fine, you go. So, I suppose I should go while you're figuring this out. Firmament, obviously evil corporation, planted Swan on the ship with this unsuspecting crew, knowing that there was a secret mission afoot. Secret mission being something involving this 
planet Arnold, which may or may not be a fake planet and or some kind of system with alien activity on it. Swan keeps this information from the rest of the crew and they're experiencing drift. Something's wrong. Oh, guess what? Do you know what I think it was? The ship was never drifting. It wasn't a malfunction or an error. Swan was deliberately... Or Firmament. Firmament or Swan was making the ship go off course so that the secret mission could commence. So, secret mission commences. The ship doesn't end up where it's supposed to be. However... Well, actually, wait a minute. They thought they were always supposed to go to, go to Arnold. Yeah, but maybe that's it. The whole thing was a secret mission to begin with. Right, but in any case, they find the radiation. They find the weird probe. And Canary and everyone's upset about it. But Swan assures them everything's played down a little bit. The readings go away. Who knows what it is? Could very well be part of the secret mission. Except maybe Pistachio catches wind of things? Or whatever it is that's preserving them takes him? I, I don't know. Yeah, because why would she disappear without her augments and her clothes? Because I can understand the augments being traceable with the clothes. I don't know. But... Pistachio, either way, first to be abducted and or first victim. And maybe everything breaks down where the other crew members start realizing or and or disappearing themselves. Which begs the question of how Junipers survived all this. At the beginning of the game though, it said no life forms detected. So is Juniper even there? Unsure. Whoever or whatever this Juniper is at this point did observe you and your ship. Oh, that connects all the way up there. Well, you might be able to do it, actually, with that peg. Back from where you were. We keep going. Something wrong? Yeah, controller lost lost it for a second. Losing connection bad. Oh no. Yeah, the problem is I bonk you can't, that. You can't just shoot straight past it either. Yeah, because if I do... Bonk. Now, controller's not dying. Okay. So this is the clean slate. That connects to that. Connects to that, right? No? Which one does that connect to? Oh, this one? At that point, you probably want to... No, no, you can't do that, actually. I think I see a new opening. Because you can't can you can't do that. I think I see a new opening. You do? Mm-hmm. Can I see? I mean, it's not quite a new opening. It's... I didn't try this. Oh. Eh. Eh, wait. That one already completed that? Yeah. It's not a big one. Oh. Okay, well, now you can go all the way around and get that one. No, 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 that one on the left. That's better. But then what's the point of all those... those turnaround points? Hell if I know. They were completely unnecessary. 
Yes. Completely unnecessary. Absolutely. I've never seen those before. Are those dead zones? Black areas. No? No. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I think it's just weirdly dark parts of the level. Maybe they didn't want to confuse you. None of this works. Oh, that zigs all the way to that. What a... Yeah, look at it. Dumb thing. That down there. Yep. Oh no, did you block yourself off? Or do you have to circle all the way around? I didn't realize those are connected to this one. Okay, why well, you should get those two while you're here. No. No? You're going to keep looping back and forth, back and forth? Back and forth, back and forth. Mm-hmm. I mean, I suppose if it works... Yeah, that might get it for you. Back and forth. Back. And froth! <laughs> These never really got that messy. They always stayed... Simple, I say with massive amounts of trepidation. Mm. Unfortunately, I'm starved for information because I really want to know the context behind their communications and their logs and the. I'm sorry. We can, we and can I feel like do we more spend, logs. We spend several... Remember in games where we had lore and we did too many of the quests and side quests so that when it was time to read lore, we had to read it in bulk? It's a shame that you collect everything out of order. Because I would have preferred to have read everything in order. But at the same time, I would rather... It reminds me of... In Mist 3 Exile, you would find these pages that would be part of Saavedra's journal. And... Even though you'd get them out of order, throughout the world, they would help build the story. And you could fill in a lot of the blanks yourselves, but there was the satisfaction of finding all the pages, having read them the whole time, but then being able to read them all together one last time when you had completed all, well, when you had acquired all of them. Mm hmm. that one. Oh no. Well in that case, why don't you go through that? Yeah, it ain't gonna work. No, no, no. Can I take it? For sure. Moment? Oh wait, which, which one does this one connect to? The... The one... Right here? Yeah, that one. And there's another one! <laughs> Just caught a stream. Yes! Been watching the edited VODs on YouTube a lot lately. Welcome! Yeah, we're 
just finishing up for the night, admittedly, because it is late. We are tired. My eyes are starting to hurt. No, this isn't the way. This is not the right way. Versus, I'm going to go a different path. Except I can't go that way. Let's try something else. Okay, so at this rate... That would be good, but I would need a way to go straight on that one. Which I can't do. Oh, I'm just laughing at uh, uh, the uh, got it chat right now. You got it, nice. I know. Did you see that? Yeah. It was. I knew I had to leave that open. I just have to read this exchange. Perfect, Sebastian. Tell more about this channel. What do you mean? It's this guy. I don't think I've heard his name getting mentioned. Sometimes his wife. I think her name is Cher or something. <laughs> and he gets tired to soundtracks like these. Which I think is so sweet. <laughs> the, How does that make you feel, like, Cher? I mean, Cher is awesome. <laughs> yeah, Cher is I mean, awesome. I, I, it's Shell. I'm Shell, but that, that's fine. And Welcome. this is Wander or Carl. In any case, out! One true grump, we're done. Yay. It was Canary who first realized the planet had something to do with Pistachio's disappearance. After the probe, Canary increased the number of readings she was taking on the planet. She had seen an increase of anomalous readings across the board right up to the day Pistachio disappeared. Then they just stopped. For a time. Ooh. Then the anomalies started to crop up again, but faster than before. We had to leave. If the timing of the anomalies before was anything more than coincidental, then we were in danger. I've never prepped a ship for long-distance travel so quickly before. Not that it mattered. We were all set to leave, but when we tried, we realized we couldn't escape the planet's gravity. So it was like them. it had somehow gained mass. And every time we put more power to the engines, the planet would pull back. Only harder. It wants to eat all of you! That's what the planet was doing. There we go. Okay, can so, I... Can we look around? No lore. I want but to do the lore. No, Chell. I will read the lore. My eyes hurt. I want to read the lore. We can start reading lore. So, I just want to look around, please. Because I, I really think we don't have much left. Uh, so I think we cleared out the first floor. We have this main corridor's oh, worth of puzzles. Okay. Because we, had, we had started... Uh, Actually, where do you start? Follow the cables. This is the first That's one. That's the first one. Yeah. I think we did the preliminary one up here and then got distracted instead of following it. So we still have these two and then we're done with that. Um, let's go upstairs. We I just want to be able to intersperse some lore with everything. Uh, we can do a bunch of lore after next time. Next we time. We got a bunch. Michelle, my eyes hurt. You know how you always get cranky at me for making you stay up too late? Now I am the one that is awake. Also, oh, look at that. One, two, there's only three or four more cables. Uh, yeah? No, I'm seeing one cable on the right and two cables on the left. We're almost done. Yeah. Except for... Oh, that's uh, also, Swan. Also, that's Swan. She does have white hair. Your captain... ...is Swan. Wait, so if we only have three more lines... ...is it really just all that's in that corridor? There's two cables on the right. Are there? 
I thought there were two cables on the left. I see two One here. cable on the right. Yeah, they might be seeing this crack in the door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we have three. Let's look. We know there's one downstairs. Which one? The the one in the hallways. Oh, and then there's these. That's two. Three. And then this one. Yeah. Oh. But there's more puzzles. This is the continuation of wait, what is what are you? What is yeah, what is that one? Oh, okay, small to large. Oh, other... Uh, yeah, that works. Let's see, do we recommend this game? Kind of depends on what you're looking for. But if you want, like, a really meditative puzzle game that's actually crazy hard... Oh, here we go. This is the continuation of the... <laughs> the junk. The junk. Okay, so we weren't quite done with that one. Because this goes into the main computer room. Okay. So... Well, we actually do have a lot. Okay, so I see four? I suppose there are sequences of puzzles. Five? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, it's like, it's four or five sequences. No, it's more than that. We might be able to beat this in one more sitting, but then we'd have to do a lot of secret hunting. Because... Can we look, can we look at our files? Part of the reason why I've been so meh on reading the files is because so many of them are hidden. But most of them are in those canisters. The ones that we can only unlock by solving puzzles. But the also puzzles. a lot of them are solved by the secret puzzles. You know the ones on the floors hidden in mm -hmm. the pool? That's where like the other half of them are. That's the reason why I'm so like, mm. I guess those are the really glitched out ones, so maybe it's not so bad. Oh, there's that. Pistachio's flower. It's in bloom. Oh. I can't believe it. She missed it by a few weeks. I just... I... I'm gonna need a few minutes. I like games like Outer Wilds. That's how I discovered you guys on YouTube. Puzzling mystery solver thingy games. I think this one would rank, rank high in this. I... I would say this is a little bit more direct puzzle than Outer Wilds was. I still think, though, that unlike a lot of games involving puzzles, this one has the story to back it up. Also, ooh, look at those, those pylons. Oh, that's sneaky. They're like these walls. Okay. If I get some food, yeah, we can make some progress. <gasps> yes. Ah ha ha ha! Oh, so maybe you want to approach it the opposite way? Yeah, because the walls will not raise over your. I just need to go to the bathroom, wash my eyes. <laughs> It's funny because Wonder insists on doing more. I'll let you handle these. I will be back in a second. Go okay. With normal water it dries out your eyes. It's more the area kind of around my eyes. I don't know. Like I, you're probably right, but from my experience. As long as... I don't know, from my experience, I just need the temporary relief more than the actual permanent help. Uh, let's see. There are four cables, not three. Yeah, that's why I counted four puzzle rooms. Isn't it, that dirty, interesting? It, Look dirty, at that. ain't it? Yeah, I'll be back. It's weird, though. Why do certain walls open, but others don't? Uh, because the cord is crossing. Uh -huh. Notice how, because your cord... 
is in the way, it will not raise. But for every area that there, the cord is not, it it will. So anything connected to it. Yeah, everything connected to those pillars will raise unless there's a cord or something else in the way. So it, I'll be right back. Interesting. With some food. In other words, it's actually best to cross over these. Except not quite. Except not quite. Eh! You finicky things! Yeah, because I can't even touch that. No, I, I need to move. Move through these. But then I can't, because then that activates that. No. Hey, I got it. Aha! I got it. All right. What do we have here? Hmm, another maze. Also, I really like this environment because it's the botanical garden. Wait, 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 I didn't actually get those. That's unfortunate. I have to reel myself back. Yeah, that's the problem. I have to find another way to weave. And that isn't good. I need at least one place to turn. Let us see. Yeah, because I, I need at least one spot to turn back. But if I touch a corner, it sends up two walls immediately. Now I can't touch that. What I can do though, is I can do this. This is the way that I turn back. So I need to potentially replicate my success with the other side. Except I can't, because of that. <laughs> well, this works. Woohoo! I got it. Okay. So, it's all about weaving them. And what do we have here? Now, those ones are not connected to walls. So that is a boon. It it gives you more time, except not enough, not in that circumstance. Well, this ensures... Hmm. Okay. This is it. I got it. That ensures I'm able to work around them, and that only the middle is actually cut off. That's good. And what do we have here? Now the problem is if I touch either of these corners, it sets up a wall on either side. So I need to find a way to work through the middle. Now this is good because it allows me to have two sides at my disposal. Will this box me out? Ah, it can't box me out entirely. Aha! See? Awesome. I suppose I should zoom out to show everyone. Let's go. Wait! I completed it! 
When we realized that we couldn't distance ourselves from the planet, we had an emergency meeting with the captain. She was as reliable as ever, calm and collected. Our first instinct was to use the escape pods, as we thought they might be small enough to escape the planet's pull. She told us to hold tight, though. It was her that reminded us where we were. On the frontier. The middle of nowhere. Sure, we could probably escape, but we'd be light years away from civilization, in a canister, with minimal rations, and no cryosleep pods. Besides, what if I was wrong and they couldn't escape the pull either? If we could, we had to keep the alabaster. Aubergine and Marmalade had started work on something as soon as they realized that we were stuck. They pitched it to the captain in that meeting. They called them anchors. Ah, uh, interesting. So yeah, caught in the gravitational pull of this planet that didn't prior have a strong gravitational pull, at least until Pistachia went missing. Potentially eaten by the planet. Uh, yeah, so... Considered using escape pods, but then the problem is they'd be stuck in small vessels with very limited resources. I saw them all. I was pretty swift about it. Yeah. Should I... Have we seen this before? Uh, yeah. I too was taken aback by the air in here. I've never felt air that was, well, wet before. Breathing feels... Uh, different. Right now it probably feels a little uncomfortable, maybe a, a bit much. But once you leave the greenhouse, you'll quickly realize that all other air has been selling you short your whole life. As if it's missing key ingredients. Like a cake without icing. In the same way that a delicious icing-clad cake spoils all future uniced cakes, the air in here, it ruins the air in the rest of the ship. You see, the thing with cake is that once you have the first special one with that moist, fluffy sponge, a gooey, fruity jam center, and then the icing, both soft and crunchy, decorative yet delicious. I, uh, where was I again? I lost myself for a moment there. You were talking about air, not cake. Chips. 